Hello everybody, in today's video, uh, it's going to be a little bit of bad news type of stuff. A couple of things have happened in the community that I'd like to talk about. But first, just to bring the spirits up, before I bring you all the way back down, um, this is Walter. Walter is a new addition to our family a little while ago. He's a big boy, aren't you? Yes. And this is Kevin, you guys have already met him. This one is Lloyd. These are ferrets, by the way, guys, just so you know. And this little guy here is Harry. Hello, Harry. Anyways, so the video today is going to be on a couple of topics. One I just found out today and one I found out a little while ago. So I'll touch on the one that's a little bit older. Um, my Shapeway shop and just Shapeways in general, if you guys are subscribed to um, Oscar Van Daventer or you read the Toasty Puzzles form on a regular basis, you probably already know what I'm about to tell you is that Shapeways has changed the way that they are pricing things and as a result puzzles on Shapeways have gone up in cost. So the more pieces there are to a print, the more it's going to cost. And for an example, my Crazy Pill, um, which cost X amount of dollars to print, is now five times more expensive for me to print. It's very, very expensive. And uh, all my puzzles have been like this. So I really don't want you guys paying that much for, for my Shapeways puzzles. I mean, that's a lot of money to pay for them. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be somewhat the death of puzzles on Shapeways. Uh, I understand their point of view, but I think the markup that they've marked it up is quite excessive and I don't want to be a part of it. So the effects are going to change on August, sorry, October 7th and I will keep my Shapeway shop open until then um, for people to buy the puzzles if they want. So um, you don't get charged that extra markup that they're going to be putting on, which is ridiculous. So. Um, the change is going on, on October 7th. If you want one of my puzzles, now is the time to buy it. You've got four days. On October 7th, I will be deleting my entire shop from that channel or from that from that website because, I don't know, I'm not really a, a Shapeways fan anymore anyways, and it's just the markup is way too much for me to even bother keeping it. So if you want to check out my shop or you want to buy one of the puzzles now because you're thinking of it, now is the time to do it. Um, the link is in the description to my Shapeways shop. The other piece of bad news is actually a little bit disturbing to me. Um, I got an email from somebody today saying that they got a, a personal message from my channel um, saying that they've won my recent giveaway of the Mega Minx. Actually, it wasn't specified as a Mega Minx, but just my recent giveaway. And to click this link and do some stuff, um, it's just spam. It was actually crazy slash bad cuber. And uh, it's, it's basically just... I haven't clicked on the link because I don't trust it, but what I'm guessing is that it's a survey. You fill out the survey, they say, okay, I'll send you the prize if you fill out the survey. It's just a scam. These people get paid every time they get somebody to fill out a survey using the link that's attached to their, you know, ID system so they know that they're the one who got the, the you know, the survey filled out. Um, this has been going on for a long time on YouTube. When Robin Williams committed suicide, there was a viral video going around Facebook saying, that um you know there's a suicide video and if you want to watch it click this and then it would like bring you to a survey and say if you fill out this we'll let you watch the video people would fill it out and then there would be nothing it's a scam and i'm sad to say that these people are now targeting youtube channels with giveaways um making basically a duplicate of the person's channel mine in this case and then contacting all of these people that have entered the contest saying you've won, fill out the survey, survey for your prize. Um, but that's not me. You know, uh, I've posted this on my Facebook. A lot of people have got this uh, message from, from them already. I don't know what this means for the future of giveaways. I mean, I'm going to continue doing them. And if they continue to happen, I might have to figure out some other way to do it. Maybe on Facebook, right? So, um, anyways, you can always tell... I am never going to send you guys to a link to like do something to your prize. If you've won the prize, I will personal message you and you can click on my name to see if it comes to my channel because the channel that's made is it's got nothing on it. You know, if people are falling for this though. I don't know if any of you guys are mad that I haven't contacted you back when I didn't contact you in the first place. You know, it's a, it's just a scam. I'm sorry to say that, you know, these thieves basically are, or scamming people into making them money by, you know, exploiting people's YouTube channels. And mine just happened to get hit this time. And it might be somebody else's next time. You never know. 
But um, anyways, if you ever, even not on my channel, somewhere else, if you, you know, get a, a message from somebody saying that you've won the prize, click the name, right? See if it's actually their channel. If they're trying to get you to go to a certain link, don't do it. It's a scam. Um, anyways, I'm just trying to say this for public awareness and just for the people who may have got this from me. It's not for me. Um, you can also always tell because you can't completely duplicate somebody's name. They're taking my channel art. They're putting it on theirs, my icon, my name, but they spelt it with a space in it. And that looks weird to anybody who's seen my name for, you know, been a fan of mine for a while, right? Um, they might change one letter, you know what I mean? Some people have impersonated my accounts in the past and wrote, you know, like all sorts of swear words to people and like, and like hateful comments and stuff like that. And people fell for it, you know, and thought it was me when it wasn't. And I posted this on Facebook, you know, impersonation happens. It's just terrible that they're doing it you know for monetary gain now so anyways um that's my video i'm gonna come out with some really cool videos soon i just got back home from my work trip so i don't really have time or energy to make a video you know a cubing video tonight but i will tomorrow and that'll be up on sunday so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on my next video